Today's topic is tricuspid valve disease. Tricuspid valve disease is a condition in which the function of the tricuspid valve is impaired. The tricuspid valve is located between the two right heart chambers, the right ventricle and the right atrium. The role of the tricuspid valve is to make sure that blood flows in a forward direction from the right atrium to the ventricle. Deoxygenated blood comes from the body and fills the right atrium. It then passes to the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. From the right ventricle, the blood is pumped to the lung to be oxygenated. The tricuspid valve closes to keep the blood from moving backward when the ventricle contracts. There are several types of tricuspid valve disease, including tricuspid valve stenosis, a condition in which the tricuspid valve is stiff, thick, or fused. This results in a narrowed valve, decreasing the amount of blood that can flow from the right atrium to the right ventricle. Tricuspid valve regurgitation, a condition in which the valve is leaky or doesn't close properly, allowing blood to leak backward into the right atrium. Tricuspid atresia, this is a congenital heart defect in which the tricuspid valve does not form at all, but instead is a solid sheet of tissue. This tissue prevents blood flow between the right ventricle and the right atrium. Causes. Tricuspid valve disease is caused by ineffective endocarditis, rheumatic fever, pulmonary hypertension, dilated right ventricle, tumors of the heart. Less common causes include trauma, carcinoid heart disease, systemic lupus, tricuspid valve prolapse. Symptoms. Irregular heart rhythm, fatigue or tiredness, especially during increased activity, a fluttering discomfort in the neck and chest. In severe cases, symptoms may include shortness of breath, heavy coughing, sometimes with bloody sputum, cold skin, swollen feet, ankles, and legs. Diagnosis and treatment. Tricuspid valve disease may be detected by the doctor during a routine medical exam. The first clinical sign of valve disease may be a heart murmur or a sound of blood flowing across an abnormal heart valve. The doctor may use other diagnostic procedure to effectively diagnose, inform treatment, and carefully monitor the condition. These may include electrocardiogram or ECG, chest x-ray, angiogram, echocardiogram. There are two types of echocardiograms, transthoracic echocardiogram or TTE and transesophageal echocardiograms or TEE. The doctors will determine which test is needed to get the best view of your heart valves. Cardiac catheterization, magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, stress testing. Treatment. Treatment options depend on the severity of the conditions and may include, for those with few to no symptoms and only minor stenosis or regurgitation, the doctor may recommend regular monitoring for any changes in the condition. Medications to help reduce the symptoms or risk of complications, including anticoagulants to prevent blood clots from forming and causing a heart attack, antiarrhythmic, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, diuretics, surgical management, including tricuspid valve repair. In cases where the valve cannot be repaired, a valve replacement may be needful. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.